when do I know it's time to say goodbye? Hi, I'm Debbie Famas from Response5.com. It's a place where you get to learn a neurological technique that helps your dog with DM gain more stability, more spark and energy, and live its longest, best life possible. I know this is a journey that you wish your dog was not on. That's why I'm here to help support you. So today I really want to get into a very often asked question is that when do I know it's time to say goodbye? Throughout your reading and research on DEM, I'm sure you've come across different forms of thinking when it comes to when is it time to say goodbye. Many pieces of information say it's time to say goodbye when they no longer have use of their back end or when they're incontinent and having accidents in the home. Well, that might work for some people, it might not work for you. Please don't get caught up on what other people are telling you or what you're reading when you go through articles. This is your journey. I don't want you to compare yourself to others that might have more time or more physical ability to help their dog or perhaps more money. Really, at the end of the day, this journey is only between you and your dog. You two know each other best. You two are a team. So when it comes to that time, you'll know i promise you you'll know so let's deal with amount of time now as you're already seeing with your dog with dm it's taking more and more time and for most of us all of us we really don't care about the time we're willing to put it in willing to put it in but the reality is as your dog becomes weaker and demands more time for stability and for getting in and out and making them comfortable during the night and they're not having good night sleeps we have to consider our own personal health too how much time can we commit to this are we working out of the house full time even if we're working in the house part of the time can our dog be left alone is it fair to leave our dog alone can he help himself anymore all of those questions but those are questions that are personal they're not to be compared to people who might have all the time in the world to help their dog so i don't want to put any guilt into time because really at the end of the day like i said it's all about you and your dog and how much love and support he knows she knows that you have given him so put that aside okay another consideration is your personal physical strength now some dogs that come to me with dm or that are on response five with dm they're smaller dogs so they live out their life a little bit longer with dm because they can be carried around so it's a much easier process but most dogs who are big um, that german shepherd for for an example uh, if you can no longer just physically lift them it's too difficult to even get them up off the floor to get them outside these are things you have to consider of course you want to give them the longest possible life but when your dog can no longer physically get up and you can no longer physically get them up that's kind of a clue that maybe we're heading in that direction of time to say goodbye and money whether you have a bank load of money to put towards your dog or you're on a very tight budget again it makes no difference to the end of the story between you and your dog as long as you're giving him that best care the best way you can with the best time that you have and the best physical strength that you have and the best money that you can possibly put out there then that's all that matters so you can kind of see where i'm getting at this is a team this isn't about other people this isn't what you have or what you don't have you're not lacking there's nothing lacking in the situation you've come this far i recently read an interesting article about a bucket list for a dog so we all know that there's bucket lists for people and for yourself and what would you like to do in this lifetime so creating a bucket list for your dog might be a beautiful thing that you do together that honors your dog and gives him the best of days and fills your heart with joy because you're able to provide i want to really think about your dog's personality and if he or she had that best day ever what would you be doing who would they be seeing what would they be smelling what would they be eating would they be snuggled up beside you on the couch whatever those things would be whatever wherever they are in their dm journey what would be their best day at that point Another beautiful thing that I do always with my dogs is to create a ceremony. As the days are leading up to saying goodbye to any of my dogs, I will create my personal prayers. 
I will spend time with them. I will light a candle. I will sit often with tears and just, well, I'll talk to my dog and give our life's journey together, talk about all the beautiful things we did and all the times that my dog supported me and loved me unconditionally. But you also have to remember to put in those times where you supported and, and gave your dog unconditional life too. Because I've said, you know, how many times throughout this video, it's all about team, you're a family, it's a relationship. So don't always think that it's a one-way thing that your dog's always giving to you and that you're lacking and giving back. You are giving fully. You have given your dog the best incredible life. With one of my dogs, my adorable, wonderful Boo Boo Pug, when it was time to say goodbye, I had this incredible woman with an indigenous background come in and she did this whole smudging within my home and smudged my dog. And we, she said all these beautiful prayers and gifted us some tobacco so that we could um, celebrate and release and um, just sent all this wellness and goodness up into the world and it just made the world a difference to me just to have my dog here and to celebrate him in that moment. Saying goodbye is never easy but it can be filled with a piece of joy and celebration and this is what I wish upon you. You know there's a special place in your heart that your dog will always live in. Hold on to that, feel it, know it, visit it and smile through it because there is nothing better and there will never be anything better than the relationship you've had with your dog. All the very best to you through this journey. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get more videos so that I can support you all through this whole process of DM.